club for the future. Ask K-12 students to send us postcards with their dreams of the future. Mine says the future is only a tomorrow away because if we build the future, we have to do it a day at a time. That's really poetic. That's really cool. We're going to send those postcards to Space and New Shepard. And then we're going to bring them back and mail them back to you. Let's take a look at some of these. These are fantastic. What a great drawing. It's time to verify. Nice. That's beautiful. Why does Earth need space? Why does the Earth need space? The big questions are, are the interesting ones. Earth has everything we need to survive and thrive as humans here, but it is getting pretty crowded. Humans have this need for exploration. We always have. I think it's in us. It's part of us. Earth needs space to spark innovation. To keep Earth healthy. For perspective. We can learn things that can help us sustain the Earth and the people that are living here. The mission here is you know, millions of people living and working in space, and that's what I wanted to contribute to. This is me being the first woman on moon. And then in the background, you can see Earth, so we can wave to our families. Some sort of spinning colony, people call them O'Neill colonies, from a book written by uh, Professor O'Neill. That's me working underneath there. You're gonna need space mechanics, right? What's something that you can invent that could be used for space, but also here on Earth? We can look back at Earth and see the beauty that we have and how lucky we are and how we need to treat the Earth and how we need to treat each other. There are more stars in the universe than there are grains of sand in all the beaches on the planet Earth. We can have a trillion humans in the solar system, which means we'd have a thousand Mozarts and a thousand Einsteins. Of all of the things in the universe, what you are doing matters. Reach for the stars. Thank you. This generation's job to build the road to space.